All right, so we're up here. We're at the we're at the top of uh, or, or near the the upper reaches of the Ventura Botanical Garden, and already this is so we're about day 11 of the fire. So the fire came down right here. This is where it first hit uh, uh, the the city of Ventura, and uh, already uh, well-meaning folks have come up and they've decided they want to augment the uh, wildlife and the poor wildlife don't have any forage. If we look around here, there's there's very little. Uh, at least low relief vegetation so they want to help so they've they have created some water for wildlife and so there's some uh dirty water in here in this in the, these buckets salt lick and then what we see a lot again we saw this in the 2013 fire uh essentially uh forage pelletized forage um that you give domestic uh critters and things and the idea here is keep these guys healthy and okay Unfortunately, what probably is going on here is this is probably acting, if it, if it does anything, it probably doesn't do anything. If it does anything at all though, it's probably acting as an attractant and serving to keep the critters here longer. And this is, you know, just in case people can't tell from, look at this, this is not gonna keep a, a deer population uh, doing too well for very long, but it might well act as an attractant to keep them here when they really should be dispersing to more, uh, better forage, better areas. So, well-intentioned folks, but, an example of something that may well cause uh, more harm than good, or at least probably doesn't do a whole lot. Totally understandable that people want to do something. They feel disempowered. They feel that they can't do anything. And so it feels good to do some kind of positive action, but, but this type of stuff, uh, unfortunately probably doesn't uh, do anybody any good.